Sawadee Welcome to World of Peace with me, Amy Katiram. I am standing here along the beach in the south of Thailand to be more specific in Songkha province. I am here because I will be telling you about an upcoming event which is the international alms offering to 10,000 monks taking place in Hat Yai City in Songkha province which is not too far from where I am right now. But before we go into detail about this international alms offering, let me update viewers of DMC all around the world about some of the activities that took place in the past week that was organized by some of the Dhammakaya centers worldwide. On Sunday, July 27, 2014, Wat Patamagai Chicago organized their weekly mayor activities. The morning started off with paying homage to the Triple Gem and then the Venerable Monk leading everyone in meditation. After meditation, Galenmit Wanni Git Gao was the representative to lead everyone in pledging the verse to offer midday meals to the monks. After that, everyone performed the alms offering ceremony together. In the afternoon, there was a robe offering ceremony where the donations will go towards expanding the temple. The ceremony started off with the venerable monk leading everyone in meditation. Then Galimit Wantita Pa'im was the main representative in leading everyone in pledging the verse to offer the robe. Everyone got to offer donations and listen to a tamat sermon by the venerable monk to end the day. On Sunday, July 27, 2014, the venerable monks from Wapatamagai Bavalia went to be meritorious leaders at a Galayanamit open house in Ingolstadt, Germany. In the late morning, the main representative, Galayanamit Supit Sara Wichia Wan, lit the candles and jaw sticks to pay homage to the Triple Gem. Then everyone meditated together, followed by pledging the verse to ask for the five precepts. After receiving the precepts from the venerable monks, Galyanmit Apitan Aid Stoman led everyone in pledging the verse to offer midday meals to the monks. Before lunch, they all offered alms together. In the afternoon, the venerable monk led everyone in meditation, followed by offering of the monk robe and donations. Lastly, the venerable monk gave a tamat sermon and announced for everyone to come and be a part of the Katina ceremony for the year 2014 that will take place at Wapatamagai Bavalia on Sunday, October 12, 2014. On Sunday, July 27, 2014, the venerable monks from Wapatamagai Bavalia also went to be meritorious leaders at Heideland Meditation Center located in Switzerland. The morning started off with Galamit Wone Hu Le lighting the candles and jaw sticks to pay homage to the Triple Gem, followed by chanting, asking for the five precepts, and offering medicine and first aid to the venerable monks, where the representative was Galamit Olapin San. Then Galamit Tong Sai Novak led everyone in pledging the verse to offer midday meals to the monks, followed by an alms offering ceremony. Then in the afternoon, there was a robe offering ceremony with Galanwit Atisa Boxler being the main representative. After the robe offering, everyone got to listen to a tamat sermon by the venerable monk and receive blessings. On the morning of August 2, 2014, there was an ordination ceremony that took place at Wapatamagai in Patumtani Province, Thailand for the 10th Japanese Tamatayad Ordination Program. This year, there were 17 Japanese men who decided to ordain as Buddhist monks in order to learn about Buddhism, the law of karma, and study tamma. Most importantly, they will get to practice meditation in order for them to find inner peace, and they will be able to take what they learned from this ordination program back with them to their country. I would like to rejoice in the merits of everyone who were a part of last week's activities. And now let's go see the importance of this international alms offering that takes place here in Hat Yai City in Songkha Province every year. This year marks the 14th time that an alms offering has been organized in Hat Yai City. It started off with only 500 monks, but as the years pass, the numbers of monks has increased to what it is now, which is 10,000 monks. This alms offering ceremony is part of the 2 million monks from all 77 provinces all over Thailand alms offering project. With Hat Yai City being a city that is located in the south and close to our neighboring countries, 
it has turned into an international alms offering, giving the monks and lay devotees in our neighboring countries the opportunity to come together and be a part of an alms offering. The alms offering is a beautiful Buddhist tradition. Before entering into AEC in the year 2015, it is important that these countries in AEC get to participate and learn about this tradition here in Thailand. Every year, the monks and lay devotees, both Thai and foreigners, fill up the street in the heart of Hat Yai City to carry on this tradition and to come together to make big merit. Also, the non-perishable goods received from this alms offering will go towards helping those living in the four southern bordering provinces of Thailand. It is also a privilege to have the chief monk being Pratama Wong Satan, the Ecclesiastical Regional 18 Governor Songkha Province, and Dr. Pai Patano being the mayor of Hat Yai City, come and be a part of the alms offering every year. This international alms offering only happens once a year here in Hat Yai City in Songkha Province. And now it's time for the quote of the week by Prateb Yan Mahamuni, Long Paul Tamat Shayo, who is the abbot of Wapatamakai and the president of the Damakaya Foundation from the book Pearls of Inner Wisdom. Your unique chance. Even the world's rich and powerful lack true happiness and penetrative insight into the reality of life and the world. Having practiced thus far, if you are constantly diligent in study and self-training, you have the unique chance to miraculously gain that which even the influential lack. Said on July 21st, 1996, on page 32 from the book Pearls of Inner Wisdom. And as for this week, that's all we have time for. So don't forget and come to be a part of the International Alms Offering to 10,000 Monks, taking place in Hat Yai City in Songkha Province on Sunday, August 17, 2014 at 6 a.m. Not only will you get to come and make big merit on that day by offering alms to international monks, but you will also get to come and see the beautiful nature that the Songkha Province has to offer. And lastly, since we are still in the Buddhist slant, don't forget to stick to your resolutions. No matter if that means to stop drinking or smoking, to preserve your precepts, meditate more, or doing anything to make as much merit as possible during the Buddhist slant. As for today, I would like to say bye from Songkha Province, Thailand, and I will see you again next week. Sorry, ka.